A hearty congratulations on your award. What does industry leadership mean to you? Oh, uh, this is a little bit too much for me, I think. Uh, we are, of course, a large shipyard in, in, in Europe. We are one of the largest shipyards in the world, but uh, industry leaders is, is, is a little bit uh, too much, I think. So uh, I'm, uh, uh, that, that's the, I'm, I, I'm a little bit more uh, modest than, uh, than uh, naming myself as an industry leader. Nonetheless, along the way, there have certainly been some, some tremendous highs, haven't there? Yeah, it's, it's uh, no, it was, it was the, the, the growth of the shipyard has been a continuous uh, growth uh, through all the years, uh, and it is continuing. Uh, of course, when you are bigger and you have the same growth rate, then you grow more in, in absolute terms. And if you, uh, we have been uh, introducing ourselves in the uh, offshore industry since, I think, the 80s. And uh, this is now becoming a yeah, real serious uh, part of our business. And we think that the market for offshore ships uh, is uh, exponentially growing because of the uh, demand for oil and gas uh, for the next uh, 20, 25 years to come. And uh, we think that's a, the that's a business we want to be in. What are the keys to managing the shipping industry's notorious cycles? Yeah, shipbuilding industry. Uh, that's, uh, um, uh, I have a very simple uh, solution for that. Uh, every time there's a, there's, a, there's a valley coming on, a, a dip in the, uh, in, the, in the market, we increase our sales capacity by a doubling. And then, uh, and then you go through the, uh, the dip uh, in a normal uh, production uh, uh, volume. And then when the dip is ending, then you enormous, have enormous increase in sales. And then you have a step, you are again a step higher for the next crisis. And that's a little bit how we do that. What advice would you give to up and coming industry leaders? Uh, yeah, be, uh, yeah, try to be uh, innovative, so that you have a solution for the market, which you can uh, uh, be a different, uh, have a different approach than your competition. If you do all the same, you don't make any money. You have to do something different uh, in order to make money, and you need money to grow. So uh, be uh, different. So a hallmark of a leader is to be different and, of course, to think ahead. What next for Darman? Yeah, I think that uh, offshore is one of the uh, one of the of the most uh, important uh, market. We are uh, increasing our activities, also in the repair activities uh, worldwide. We are investing quite a lot. Uh, we have uh, last year we had, we acquired two big yards in France. And we have other, uh, other areas in the world where we like to be, to have a dominant position in the repair and conversion market also. Now, you've, Darman has been a long-term supporter of the OSJ conference series and also the OSJ magazine. Why do you choose to, to back this publication and this event? Yeah, because for our own uh, marketing uh, reasons, uh, that's one thing. Also, because we think it's a good uh, formula. I think I find the magazine interesting in their articles, but also the offshore support uh, journal conference. I found it always uh, very much informative, and uh, I come here every second or third year, not every year, but uh, it's always uh, interesting. Uh, many of our clients, uh, our com 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 competition and uh, colleagues, and uh, uh, yeah, so and financing. So we always have a, a very wide uh, range of players in this market, and it's very interesting to come here.